I get a lot of people asking me about my sketchbook, what sort of book I use, what sort of paper is in it, um, and why I use it. And this is something that I didn't always do. And um, so in this video, I thought I would go through and talk to you about why I use it um, and how I use it. When I'm working in my sketchbook, I follow exactly the same process as when I do work on these large paintings. The difference is though, I can finish a painting in my sketchbook in an hour and go through that whole process and learn um, as I'm going through and, and make all those decisions that I make in, during that process. And that's all condensed down in one hour. With a painting like this, this takes months, you know, weeks and months. And um, I work in multiple, so this is a much longer process. So just, keep, just only having this in my practice means that I'm only learning on that level. When I'm working on my sketchbook, I'm going through that same process, but in much smaller bites. Sometimes I'm just too busy to get to my large paintings, and I'll only have small fragments of time. And this is when a sketchbook is really useful. Okay, so let's um, have a look inside the sketchbook, and I'll show you what I have discovered um, by having a regular sketchbook practice. So here it is. And going right back to the beginning, um, when I look at these drawings, I think they're um, so different from what I'm doing in it now. But that's why it's so interesting to go back. These are some design studies that I did at the very beginning. And then I started to explore different media, using line with shape, using black paint, creating large shapes, and incorporating collage, and looking at the surface, and um, just really each page is an is a exploration um, into shape, line, media, surface, incorporating um, representational objects and um, images along with sort of uh, very abstract mark making. This was an exploration into looking at an interior and um, sort of creating a feeling of space um, and then uh, creating shapes again in another design exercise and sticking the exercises into the into the um, sketchbook, looking at colour and shape and um, then exploring those collage exercises further. Once again looking at representational, mark making, using different um, tools and things to make marks, creating objects with collage and um, building up layers, looking at um, botanical forms in this one and a limited palette and then um, more explorations into collage and mark making and then I started to get into actually uh, working up compositions that went right across the two pages and um, I really enjoyed those and bringing those sorts of ideas together. This is looking at um, symbols that have some meaning to me and, and when I look back over my past and then a little um, painting study of um, a milk, <laughs> the milk carton that we used to collect our milk, bottles of milk in when I was a child. Um, and then back into these um, compositional studies using line and shape and building up layers. Um, here I'm exploring um, figure study with abstract forms and more composition um, made with shapes and I'm starting to use stencils here in these ones. More collage and compositions and then a much looser paint application and you can see I'm sort of working my way towards the end of this book. Now I'm often asked how I manage to avoid getting my pages stuck together and this is how I do it. I get a scrap sheet of paper and I put it in between the page that I'm going to work on and the other pages and with a bulldog clip I just clip them together so that they're held in place and I do this with both sides so that any paint that goes over the edge is not going to get, um, is going to be 
gluing other pages to the page I'm working on, it's just going to go onto that um, sort of collar that goes around the edge of the page. And this is how I prevent um, the paint going onto the pages that are underneath. And I do work on both, as you can see before, I work on both sides of the paper. And uh, when, the pa when the painting is finished, I leave the book open to dry for a good couple of days before I'll close it again. Um, so that's how I manage to prevent my pages from sticking together. And uh, it's a really interesting um, exercise to go back and just flick through and see um, how the ideas have changed, how they've developed, how the work has changed. And this is sort of over the course of a year, um, this workbook has been, I've been using this particular workbook. Um, the other thing I quite like to do is look at creating new compositions by folding pages and, and sort of combining a page underneath with a page on top. And um, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's always interesting to see if you can uh, extend pages and extend shapes and, and what will work. Um, this one here I thought did work quite well, having a big shape on the left and an open area at the top. So this can offer new ideas to explore as well. So I really enjoy my sketchbook. I, it's, I think it's a precious document really. And that's the uh, type of sketchbook that I buy to use.